This is uh, the first new city made in America in, I think, quite a few decades. Uh, that, uh, at least that's what I'm told. And a uh, very cool name. And it's named that because it is, the, it is where we're going to develop the technology necessary to take uh, humanity uh, and civilization and, and life as we know it to another planet for the first time in the four and a half billion year history of Earth. In a decisive election held in May, Cameron County voters overwhelmingly approved the incorporation of Starbase by a vote of 212 to 6. Starbase has officially become Texas's newest city. Along with the incorporation, residents also elected their first mayor, Bobby Pedden, SpaceX's vice president of test and launch, and two commissioners, Jordan Buss and Jenna Petruselka, both SpaceX employees. The newly incorporated city is home to fewer than 500 residents, including around 120 children. Elon Musk marked the occasion with a celebratory post on his platform, X, declaring that Starbase is now a real city. But SpaceX is just a space technology company. They could have simply focused on building rockets and a launch site. So why take the much bigger step of establishing an entirely new city? To be fair, the day Elon Musk first chose Texas for SpaceX's operation, he wasn't planning to build a city. He just needed a place to build and launch massive rockets. Although his two biggest companies, Tesla and SpaceX, began in California, the state wasn't ideal for large-scale expansion. At the time, Musk was also clashing with California's government, prompting him to look elsewhere. That's when Boca Chica, Texas stood out. Despite its lack of infrastructure and skilled labor, Boca Chica had two key advantages, an abundance of cheap, undeveloped land and a location right by the Gulf of Mexico. Its coastal position allowed rockets to launch over open water, minimizing risk to people on the ground. It is also one of the southernmost points in the continental United States, which places it as close to the equator as possible. This gives rockets a valuable velocity boost from the Earth's faster spin at lower latitudes. Beyond the technical benefits, Texas offered practical business advantages that California couldn't match. There was wide open land for large-scale operations, lighter traffic, more affordable housing to attract young talent, lower taxes, and fewer regulatory hurdles. Elon once joked that, We've got a load of land with nobody around, so if it blows up, it's cool. So for Musk, it was a logical and strategic move. But Boca Chica wasn't completely uninhabited. Right next to the building site was a small village made up of about 35 houses. It was a peaceful spot, ideal for retirees and vacationers. That was about to change with the arrival of SpaceX. To clear the area for its operations, SpaceX began buying out the residents of Boca Chica Village. They offered to purchase each home for three times its fair market value, along with exclusive VIP invitations to future rocket launches. Not everyone agreed to the offer immediately. But over time, most came on board. The homes were then refurbished to house SpaceX employees, while others lived nearby in Airstream trailers set up around the launch site. Though modest, the area evolved into a close-knit community of rocket engineers and support staff. It became a cozy little village driven by space-bound ambition. Over the following years, SpaceX continued acquiring land and expanding its workforce. Operations eventually shifted to a 24-7 schedule. The company's goal expanded beyond building a massive Starship factory. SpaceX began envisioning an entire city. The name Starbase began circulating in March 2021 when SpaceX made what was described as a casual inquiry into creating a city in Texas with that name. By early 2022, Starbase had become widely used by both SpaceX and the media to describe the growing complex in South Texas, regardless of whether it was officially recognized as a city. Creating a city is no easy task, especially when it's being done by a private company. A functioning city needs all the typical amenities, but it also has to feel warm and welcoming so that employees' families are happy to relocate. With that in mind, SpaceX began building community features near the construction site, including a restaurant and a tiki bar where employees could unwind after a long day of work. In August 2020, SpaceX posted a job listing for a resort development manager based in Brownsville. The role was intended to oversee the development of SpaceX's first resort from concept to completion. The ultimate goal was to help transform Boca Chica into a modern 21st century spaceport. 
Responsibilities for the position included managing the entire design and construction process, obtaining all required permits and regulatory approvals, and leading the full build-out of the facility. One of the more imaginative features planned for Starbase was a futuristic bar placed at the top of the high bay, an 80-meter tall building equipped with a massive gantry crane used to stack Starship sections. Although the high bay has since been decommissioned to make room for new development, that doesn't mean SpaceX won't try the idea again in the future. The idea of a bar with glass windows and a 360-degree view looking out over Starbase is just so cool. Parts of the floor were also going to be made of glass, so employees and visitors could look down into the bay and watch work being done on starships. I really hope they bring it back. I'd love to experience that at least once. At this point, SpaceX has basically taken full control of the area. They even changed the street names. Now, we have names like E. Johns Drive, Meme Street, and LBJ Boulevard, referring to Lyndon B. Johnson, who was president when NASA landed on the moon. There's also a pub that is exclusive to SpaceX employees, and the company built a private school down the road called Ad Astra for employees' children. That's not the only school Elon Musk might attach his name to. A tax filing from December 2023 shows that Elon is planning to found a university in Austin. This is being done through one of Musk's charities, the Foundation. Public records show that the plan is to use a $100 million gift from Elon Musk to create and launch a primary and secondary school in Austin, focused on teaching science, technology, engineering, and math. Once fully operational, the school plans to expand its mission to include the creation of a university. It also intends to seek accreditation from the Southern Association of Colleges and Schools, Commission on Colleges, which is a necessary first step. According to the filing, the university would offer both in-person classes and distance learning options. It expects to begin with an initial enrollment of 50 students and scale up over time. The school's operations would be funded through donations and tuition fees. However, the filing notes that students who cannot afford tuition may receive financial aid. The school is currently hiring an executive director, as well as teachers and administrators, with all the facilities in place. The next step for Starbase is to be recognized legally as an actual city. On December 12, 2024, SpaceX sent a letter to Texas Judge Eddie Trevino requesting the incorporation of Starbase as an official city in Texas. In the letter they stated, to continue growing the workforce necessary to rapidly develop and manufacture Starship, we need the ability to grow Starbase as a community. That is why we are requesting that Cameron County call an election to enable the incorporation of Starbase as the newest city in the Rio Grande Valley. SpaceX currently performs several civil functions around Starbase due to its remote location, including management of roads, utilities, and the provision of schooling and medical care for residents. Incorporation would move the management of some of these functions to a more appropriate public body, and they have finally done it. With Starbase officially recognized as a city, Elon Musk and SpaceX are taking a significant step forward in their mission to expand space exploration, though not without facing notable challenges. The new city represents both an opportunity for economic growth and a point of debate regarding the management of public resources and spaces. City status allows for the implementation of new infrastructure and services, and it positions SpaceX to attract more talent and investment to the region. As ambitions in space exploration grow, Starbase could emerge as a hub for technological innovation, research, and development, reflecting Musk's broader vision of an interplanetary future. However, ongoing oversight by the local community will be essential to ensure that development serves everyone's interests. Balancing rapid advancement in space technology with the preservation of community rights and natural areas remains an ongoing challenge. Now that Starbase has a local government, it gains more control over certain logistical matters, such as road closures during rocket transport or launches. That said, limits are in place to preserve public access in some areas. For example, while SpaceX manages certain road closures, it does not own Boca Chica Beach. Under the Texas Open Beaches Act, the public retains the right to access state-owned beaches freely 
any closures of the beach still require permission from Cameron County, just as they did before incorporation. In 2025, lawmakers attempted to shift weekday authority over closures of Boca Chica Beach and surrounding roads from Cameron County to the city of Brownsville, now Starbase, but the bill was rejected by the Texas House State Affairs Committee. As a result, the county maintains control, helping to preserve a balance between technological progress and public access to cherished natural spaces. SpaceX's presence in Boca Chica, Texas, has dramatically reshaped the region, both physically and economically. The nearby city of Brownsville, where many SpaceX employees live, has undergone significant changes in just the past few years. Following SpaceX's arrival, the state of Texas awarded Brownsville millions of dollars in public relief to improve the city's appearance. Elon Musk himself donated more than $30 million to the Brownsville area. Now that plans for Starbase are public, many Brownsville residents are seeing opportunity and investing in new businesses. Yet not everyone welcomes SpaceX's expansion in South Texas. Some residents and environmentalists have voiced concerns about the spaceport's impact on local wildlife. The construction of launch pads and other facilities has disrupted habitats critical to endangered species, including the Kemp's Ridley Sea Turtle and the Ocelot. The arrival of highly paid workers from out of state has also driven up the cost of living. Longtime residents are facing rising rents and property taxes, prompting questions about whether the promised economic benefits are reaching the broader community. Despite these concerns, SpaceX says it is committed to minimizing its environmental impact. The company has implemented more than 200 environmental measures, including ongoing health assessments of local plants and animals. It has also partnered with organizations such as Sea Turtle Incorporated, which works to protect endangered sea turtles. In addition, SpaceX participates in community cleanup initiatives around the Boca Chica area, contributing to the local environment beyond its own operations. The changes brought by SpaceX are not limited to the environment. The company's operations have significantly transformed the local economy, creating more than 3,400 jobs and generating substantial tax revenue, according to USA Today. SpaceX reports that its activities have produced over $800 million in taxes for local and state governments and have drawn nearly $100 million in tourism to the area. The Boca Chica facility now features a state-of-the-art complex, including two office towers and expansive rocket production buildings. Spanning over 350 acres, it serves as the headquarters for SpaceX's ambitious space program and stands in stark contrast to the quiet tidal flats that once defined the area. So, despite the remaining concerns, there is still hope that Starbase can evolve into a model for responsible innovation with careful governance, transparent community engagement, and respect for existing laws. The city has the potential to push the boundaries of progress without sacrificing public interest or environmental integrity.